In this video, we are going to make a pill-shaped editable label. And I mostly use this in my monthly calendar, but of course you could use this anywhere you wanted to within your planner or within your notes. And you can copy and paste it and use it over and over again. Use any font you want, uh, change the text inside of it, and change the color too. So let's go ahead and get started. First, I'll tap the text tool in the GoodNotes toolbar. And I like to use all caps and put spaces in between my letters. And sometimes it'll put a period in there. I'm just gonna get rid of that. And then I am going to change the font size and make it a little larger. Of course, this is all sub subjective. You can do whatever you want. I'm gonna select it all and make it about 20. And then I'm going to make sure it is centered. I'm going to readjust that text box since it kind of went wild there for a second. I'm gonna bring the sides back in. Then we're going to next, let's choose the background color and we'll just go with something like that. And I typically like to use a darker, more saturated, darker background color. And then I like to use white text. I just think it looks a little bit nicer. I don't know. That's just my opinion, but you can do whatever you want. Then we're going to come back in here to let's do the rounded corners next. And this is all adjustable. So you can adjust it to your liking if it ends up being not exactly what you want at first. Okay, and then I'm going to add a little bit of padding around the entire text. I think that looks good. So the text is actually taking up about one third of the height of the text box. And as you can see, that did change our corners, our rounded corners. So we're going to come back in and make those a little more rounded. Now you'll notice that the rounded corners top out at 20 points. So what I'm going to have to do to fix this is go back down in my rounded corners. This is a very strange thing to have to do. And then I'm going to actually make my text smaller. And then I'm going to come in and make my padding less. Then bring this in from both sides. And then I'm going to resize this. I'm going to make sure that my text box is selected in my lasso options, and then I'm going to resize this. And you do have to remember that whenever you resize something in GoodNotes, there is a little bug that's been present there for a very long time, and it actually tilts the text box. If you can see based on how it lines up with the dots here, it's slightly tilted. Kind of drives me crazy, but we're going to fix that right now by over tilting it and then re-tilting it back. And the reason I over tilt it is because the resizing tool, whenever you're rotating something, it likes to snap into place. And it's very difficult to do that. Um, very difficult to get it really straight unless you over tilt it again. Okay, hope that makes sense. You'll see if you have experience doing that or whenever you try it, you'll see what I mean. Okay, so then I'm gonna come back in and I'm going to go back to the rounded corners. And now, See, I can actually overdo the rounded corners and 20 points is a little too far. So I'm going to back it up at about, I'm happy with 17. Okay. So your, your number might be a little different um, based off of how you resize your pill shaped button or label. And as you can see, it's quite different currently than mine is over here. Let's just compare the two. So let's say if I wanted to match it to the one I already have done, I'll come back in and highlight the text box and I'll reduce this padding. And then I will adjust that rounded corner. And then you'll see here that, um, in my opinion, I think it needs a little more space here on the ends. So I'm going to give it some more space by dragging it out a little bit. And that's a little closer to what I have currently. Actually, I like this new label that I've made a little better. So I might start using it instead. 
Okay, so then from there, let's say you want to reuse this over and over again. All you have to do is copy it. You can also go ahead and add this to your elements. So if you lasso it and then add element, you can put that in your collections and then pull it in from your elements every time. Or if you already have it on your page, which I normally do on my week, on my monthly calendar. So I just go ahead and copy it because it's already there. And then I will paste it right in the middle and then tap the text box and select it without um, selecting any text. What you can do is come in and choose a different background color, any color you want, and you can change the text, edit the text, and edit the text color, edit the font, and that's pretty much it. So I hope you found this um, useful. Enjoy. Hello everyone, I'm Brooke, and I make digital planners and notebooks. You can find my online shop at brookbot.com. If you enjoyed this video, please leave me a big old thumbs up by tapping that like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel so that I can bring you more videos like this in the future. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.